today is January 26, 2021. One year ago on this very day. And today is my father's birthday. We lost Kobe Bryant and Gianna on this very day of my dad's birthday. I am doing a video right now. I just want to say happy birthday to my father, Mr. Andrew Lowe, who is no longer with us all, but in heaven is there. And I miss you, Dad. And it's a sad day, and it's a hard one for me. But I got to be strong. God got me, and I know God got you in his kingdom. It's a day of sadness, the whole world. We lost one of the greatest, Kobe Bryant. There will never be another Kobe Bryant. One year today, tragedy hit us all. But what's so hurtful about it, he passed away on my father's birthday. That hurt even more. But I'm holding strong. I gotta be still. But the tears are floating down my eyes. As I speak, I'm trying to be strong. As soon as 12 o'clock hit, tears just start floating. Floating, floating, floating. Y'all gotta stay with the background. I'm doing a lot of. Uh, I'm packing and packing. I've been doing a lot of shopping. But right now, I share my story with you, with you guys. With me losing my father many long, long years ago. But his memory is buried inside of me. The pain only comes when the birthdays come in like today. In the holidays, every time the holidays come around, I hurt. It's okay to cry, but my tears and my pains get so unbearable every time his birthday arrives. And today the world celebrate Kobe Bryant and Gianna, aka Gigi. We miss you, Kobe. One year came around today. And it's like it's starting all over again, January 26th. And it's Tuesday morning, January 26th, 2021. My father's birthday was January 26th, 1931. And I wanted to get on here and speak. Let all my friends, family, new friends. No, that this day I will always continue to live with this day. I would never thought in a million that it would happen. On oh, my father's birthday, what happened to Kobe and Gianna? It hurts even more. But like I said, people, I gotta be strong right now. The tears are falling for my father, for Vanessa Bryant and her daughters, Natalia, Bianca, and Caprice. I feel her pain. Knowing that COVID died on my father's birthday, I even told her in message that that was the day of my father's birthday. When I heard about a year ago, I was coming home. And someone said, Kobe died today. And I just fell to my knees. And I cried in agony of pain. The pains were so unbearable. I couldn't either get online and speak with anyone. And that was a year ago, January 26, 2020, when I heard the news. It was just unbearable. I couldn't even catch my breath. But I tried to get up, but I could. But I held on to the chair. 
and I couldn't even question God. Why? I couldn't even say anything. Never question God. I couldn't even question God. It's like I was in a shock because it was my father's birthday and I wanted to just holler around, you know, and just pray to God that I would have been able to get a birthday cake, some ice cream, and just tell him in his memory. But I couldn't even do it. It was too much to bear, knowing that we got the bad news on that very day, January 26th, 2020. But this is my story. I had a good father. He raised me. I could not ask for more. Losing him was like my life was leaving, you know, but I had to stand strong for my kids. But only God knew. But this day, I had to speak. He raised me so good. All the good times we had, all the memories. He was a good father. And what's so good about it, I even told my dad in spirit that we are all still standing, all his kids. And that's a big blessing from Father God. Amen. I let my dad know we are all still here. And I grew up whether y'all want to believe it or not, I grew up with the Pace sisters, the gospel singer. They lost one of their home a week ago. Durani Pace, she was the gospel singer. Bobby Brown, Bobby, yeah, Bobby, Bobby Brown, I think. Not Bobby Brown, but uh, the gospel man. I can't think of his name, but I grew up with all the Pace sisters. These was my sisters. Some good women had a good mom that raised them. My name was Miss Betty Case. She passed away last year. And it's just showing you that we all are human and we are all who we are. It doesn't matter who you know, how special you become. But I just wanted y'all to know a little things about some of my friends that I grew up with. And I suppose I've been in the music industry, you know, because that's what my father always wanted me to, to be. But when his death came upon us, I took it so hard. It was unbearable. I couldn't even finish my music career. I started singing in a choir at the age of five, five years of age. I started roller skating at the age of five. I grew up pretty fast, had an old soul. My father raised me. He been gone for many long years, but his spirit been with me for so long. I even asked God, I couldn't get him in the, in the physical form. At least send me my father in spirit. So he did that. I was a good girl growing up. Respected my father. Respected my elders. Never gave my mom, my dad, any problems growing up. I had a good mother and a good father. My mother's still standing. God has been so good to my mom. Knowing that she lost her husband, my father. My mama been so strong out of all them years he been gone. You know, she's a godly woman, but she was so strong. She hold on. And we've been holding on with my mom all them years. And I just thank Father God that I'm still here. I didn't thought I would never make it because when I lost them, it was unbearable. 
and it was like my life was over. You know, I even wanted to write a book about my life, you know, because growing up, we had a good father. He was my protector. He was my shield. He was, he was everything. January 26th, today is my father's birthday. My father would have been 80, um, he would have been 86, 87, and he passed away many, many long years ago. But I kept his theory alive for so, so long. That's how bad I wanted my father back. And that was true love. That was some deep love of a daughter and father. And when I was young, growing up, I danced with my father. My daddy hold my hand while I was stepping up on his feet. And I loved it dancing. I was just a very active young girl growing up. And he taught me well. I learned a whole lot at an early age. Learned how to cook. Learned how to be responsible. That's where I get my cooking skills from. My father taught me, my grandmother, my mother, my sister. And I love them all. I appreciate everything that they did. My grandmother, who is no longer on earth, but in spirit, she taught me well. My mother's still standing. My sister's still standing. I have a big family, a lot of sisters and brothers, and we are all still standing. So my daddy raised us. I had a good father, Mr. Andrew. His name was Andrew. He raised us, and today, I'm going to try to see if I can get a cake or something. I just want to celebrate my father's memory. But it's so hard knowing that Kobe and Gianna Bryan passed away on my father's birthday. And I couldn't even celebrate it last year. It was too agony, unbearable. But I had a stay strong for my grandkids. But today, the world is sad. Uh, I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to hang in there. But I have had some tears. I have cried. And right now I'm just speaking to all my friends. I know, know a little bit about me and what the day is to me. January 26th, the day of my father's birthday and it passing tragedy death of Kobe Bryant and Gigi Gianna Bryant. So let us all pray. Pray for Vanessa and the family. And just continue to keep them in your heart and your prayers. And send all the love and all the comments or whatever you want to do today. Because she's going to need it. It's been one year today. We lost Kobe and Gianna. Brian. And I really can't even say like this video, but I want y'all to like it, comment, or subscribe, whatever you want to do, I don't know. But I just had to give a little of my story out. I didn't tell you all, but I just wanted everyone to know my father's birthday is today, January 26th, the day that Kobe and Gianna passed away on. So uh, y'all stay blessed and remember, no matter what the situation is, stay close to your loved one. Keep in touch with your loved one. Always tell your loved one, see you later, never say goodbye. Because you never know that may be the last time you ever see them. Always love your family, no matter if you're going through it with them. If y'all don't have anything.